sharpeners here where you can buy them in the shops. So I'm going to go through these four knife sharpeners. Joseph Joseph, Gronweg, made for Global Knives, Block Wash and the uh, Taylor's Eye Witness Chantry traditional knife sharpener. Let's start with the latest knife sharpener on the market, the Joseph Joseph one. Let's talk about how good the bad and the douche things about it. So all of them have different techniques, different specs to them. So we'll go through that. First of all, we'll start with Joseph Joseph sharpener. It's red and gray finish. Got the Joseph Joseph logo, nice finish to it. It swivels, so when you push down here, it rotates around and it's compact, goes into your drawer nice and easy. Push again, comes back out. It's got numbers to indicate how to sharpen. So you go one and two, you start on one, finish on two. So simple, nice design. All you need is a sharpener. Sharpener, what? all you need is a knife. I'm gonna use my knife. All you do, start on one. You can roll it up and down. You can roll it on two. So you get two sharpening. You get the stone and the second one just to finish off so it's a nice easy to maneuver dish itself it's easy to sharpen with can't really go wrong 20 degree angle on both so the sharpeners are you start on one finish on two so that basically hones it that finishes it off and all you do stroke it through the nozzle and you're done about seven or eight times will be absolutely fine do wet the stone if you do want to it's not going to make a massive difference but it's good to wet the stone before you start our next one is our Chantry, a traditional knife sharpener. It's been on the market a long time, steel blades going through serrated blades in a 20 degree angle. This is the heaviest model on this. It's got a little good slight grip to it, made it all steel. It's got a quite a basic finish to it, not much extravagant or anything to it. It's all black steel. You can buy them in different colors, but it's got the serrations. All you do through the nozzle. And you can see it rolling. Let's have a close look. Rolling. 20 degree angle. Fine. Easy seven or eight times. And you're done. Simple. Works really, really well. Uh, other one has been slightly quite older in the market. Again, it's got two stone. One to hone it. And two to finish it. Red silicone padding. So it's got the best grip so far. It's made by Grunweg. It's the company who makes the knife sharpeners and everything for global knives. So you, with this sharpener, you get it at a 15 degree angle. So if you've got a European knife, it will change the angle of your blade. If you don't, if you've got a Japanese knife, this will be perfect. It won't change anything. It's not going to do much to it. It's just going to sharpen it. Best to wet the stone. This comes off if you do want to take it off. So it's, let's pull it off and let's see how hard it is. So all you need to do, pull hard enough and it will come off. Yep, there you go, it comes off. Got two stone here. This basically in a 15 degree angle and you start on one, finish on two. Wet this, take all the excess water and put the lid back on. And when you've done that, you're ready to sharpen the knife. So that goes on there. Again, you start on one. It's a bit more rough, it makes a bit more noise. I don't know why. And that is slightly diamond type coated. That will finish on there. Start on one, finish on two. Nice and simple. Done. Dust it. And our last but not least is the Robert Walsh knife sharpener. With this, you just get one stone. It's got the Robert Walsh logo there. Yeah, the Robert Walsh ceramic stone. It's got a round all the way it goes through. It's got soft padding at the bottom to give you like optimum grip so you don't slip and it tells you how to sharpen it so you can lightly put water on it dry it out this comes off the same way you just pull it hard enough and it will come off there you go the stone rolls out it looks like let's get that back and put it back on and it's easy to take out easy from the stones in both all the ranges can be replaced via the website it gives you a good grip and it's not the best grip, I have to say, it's the global one, Grunweg one's the best grip. And you just stroke it through seven or eight times. Wet the stone, that's the best thing to do. 
and that's all it's to it seven eight through terms nozzle there it's only one stone so you basically it's based to when you've had the knife for a little while you sharpen it continuous sharpness will be the way to go uh, the global one if you haven't sharpened it for a while it's absolutely fine and it gives you two stones so you can basically if you get it quite blunt it's pop it on and you can get it quite nice and smooth the most compact is the Josie Josie one because it folds and it looks nice and decent finish to it Robert Walsh recommended for the Robert Walsh knife but it works on European same as this and same as the Taylor's eyewitness the global Japanese knife all of them very similar the best two I would say is the Joseph and the global because it gives you two stone finish so you can sharpen it this one is more traditional it's a bit more basic you can't really do much you can do serrated nice on this other ones you won't be able to so if you've got like bread knife serrated knife this you can but it's not going to give you the optimum sharpness you can get with a professional sharpener so these are the types you can buy in the retail market very nice simple design works really well easy to use if you're a beginner like me or other people these are to go for after this you can go on to the steel but if these are good enough you don't need to thank you for watching thank you for listening and i'll leave all the details in the description please share and subscribe and hope to see you again bye bye